I'm starting the video right now. Okay. Oh, so we're, we're going in about a minute. So. Okay, very good. So mm -hmm. this is very off the air still. You can still talk, but yeah, the video is going. But I suggest when if it's so, and right now to any of you guys in the next minute, if you want to uh, go to our Facebook page and share the video since yeah. it just started, oh, oh. Okay, that way you can inv invite your friends to whatever. Oh, no. You can put this on Facebook. It's yeah, you could do it now. Oh, yeah. Look at Facebook. Uh, Rainier Avenue Radio. That <laughs> word. Go to our Facebook page. <laughs> that is loud though. We got about 30 seconds. 30 seconds, yeah. Avenue. Yeah, Rainier Avenue, Avenue Radio. Okay. Let me know if anybody has connected. Yeah, connected. Yeah. Are we in there? Live? No. Nope. Yeah. Wait, what? He was just on the video. Yeah. Yeah, we got it, Sammy. Yeah. Magandang magandang hapag po sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang Feel Am Radio. Broadcasting live dito po sa studios ng Rainier Avenue Radio dot World. Marami po tayong pag-uusapan ngayon because we have two very important guests. And as usual, mga kaibigan, ako po si Kuya Bert Kawili, ang aking co-host na buwak dito ang si... Ako naman po si Rolling Polita. And we have two special guests. We'll start with one of the uh, biggest producers of concerts here in the greater Seattle area. In San Francisco. In San Francisco. Yeah. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, Sunny de Guzman po, uh, NK Productions and Jack and Boy Productions here now at like Rainier Avenue <laughs> Radio.world. So follow us at Rainier Avenue Radio.world. Thank you. It's on Facebook. It's on yeah. Facebook. And of course, I'm on my right side. Ako ang guapi tong Marcio. Sasabihin ko, one of the richest uh, Filipinos here in the Seattle area, si June Dalangan. So introduce yourself, June. Hello, uh, my name is June Dalangan. Uh, my, uh, my business is a real estate. I'm a real estate investor. Uh, and if you want to follow my Facebook, uh, my business is a lot JBL uh, Enterprise, a real estate investor who owns more than a thousand units. And uh, you can follow my Facebook if you want to inspire. So all my Facebook is all about motivational. Okay, very good. Oh, thank you, nice. thank you. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Having the two uh, August. Uh, person. That's right. Well, uh, an Both. extreme end of the spectrum, yata. <laughs> <laughs> Both, I don't know. Anyway, yeah. okay, because, yeah. having up, because we have uh, we utilize a lot of our time today. Mm -hmm. Our program po namin ito always starts with a prayer and ends with a prayer. So, sama po kayo naroon, so ngayon niyo po kami. Ama namin, Ama namin. purihin ang iyong pangalan. Bagaman po di kami karapat dapat, and yung nangas kami sumamo sa kahawan niyo po. Na mga kapatid namin, naliligaw ng danas, pinaghari ng mainit na simboy at katasan, na pagkaloban ng inyo na maliwanag na isip at kahinahunan upang magsipag balik loob sa inyo. Kawan po ang aming mga kapatid na may karamdaman na pagkaloban na madaling paggaling o kaginawa. Maghari na mga sa lahat ng tao ang mabuting pagsasamahan, kababaan loob at kapayapaan ngayon at magpakailanman sa inawa. inawa. Amen. So, with that, we will start our opening song. Ang favorito nating nandito ako. <laughs> Requested. <laughs> Olgi Alcacid. Yes. Requested by... Of course. <laughs> Say you watch it. Okay, 
So now we can Nandito ako by OG Alcacid. Nandito talaga tayo. Nandito tayo ngayon. Ang pasunod yes. kami mga kaibigan. Kayo pong nang nanonood live sa Facebook o nakikinig po sa ating uh, internet uh, streaming. We have uh, two of the most popular people here. And most, sabi ko nga talaga napakaswerte. Successful. Mga, successful. Yes. Yeah. Sana ganyan din tayo. Uh, ako naman. Basta ako successful sa pag-ibig. Okay na. <laughs> <laughs> Ano yung nagustuhan niya? 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 
at this really, age yeah. where I can still do my um, my thing. So um, I've got into production because of some friends and because I already know people in the business, uh, including artists. So, you know, from uh, San Francisco, LA, and uh, San Diego, uh, I've also done films. Uh, I actually had the Hollow One uh, that was premiered in the Seattle International Film Festival uh, in 2015. Actually, uh, that's where I met Enzo Williams, who's now a big name in the Philippines, who did Bonifacio, who won awards, yeah. right? Yeah, Enzo Williams, you were there. Yeah. You met him, right? Yeah. You introduced me to him, actually. Yeah. So, so that inspired me. We talked, and then we said, you know, he, he started also doing productions, uh, you know, concerts and everything. So that uh, introduced me to a lot of people in the, um, in the world of uh, producing. And then also a friend of mine from uh, San Francisco who a long, long time friend, um, uh, Beng Tapasio Manalan's son, uh, introduced me to Gabby Conception. Oh, that's so, how you were able to Yeah, be. so yeah. April, uh, I was there in her show and I was impressed by Gabby about his um, his uh, killing moments with the female audience and <laughs> that's it. <laughs> like, 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 yeah. You call it killing moments. Yeah, killing yeah, moments. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was very interac yeah, interactive with his audience. Yeah. Now, you know, going to uh, future uh, productions here in Seattle, uh, we have a lot going on right now. So uh, Andrew E. Gag Overload will be in September 9th at the Hilton Conference Center. Mm -hmm. um, Jed Modella will be at the Highline Performing Arts in, um, in Burien. Uh, that's in September 28th. Wow. And um, there's one more happening, which is actually... There's one called Eli Buendia, is that part of your... Yeah, Eli Buendia oh, uh, will be here seconds. on se uh, September 25. Right. Yeah, so actually uh, Eli Buendia is a, um, is a uh, brother, it's a fraternity of, uh, fraternity of mine, or uh, International Order of Dimule. So he called out brothers to help and support, and then I found Reynald, who's the producer. Uh, he's... So Reynald Tutsi and I, who's, who's, who's actually um, in the combining show, together. combining together, called Jack and Poi Productions. Oh, that's mm -hmm. Jack and Poi. Yeah. Oh, Courtesy of Dignity Memorial, because they are the host of event that actually put us together. Mm -hmm. And then in our Facebook, you can see that we just did a Jack and Poi, who was the first one And then now formed that group. It's but, a nice name, huh? It is a nice name. It's a very you know, big, big, big tradition. Yes. And that's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can bring more artists in here uh, that would actually make us enjoy an evening. You know, we're all working. We're all stressed out about, you know, our daily lives. And, you know, I've been to that nine to five. And we just want, you know, a moment of like two hours, three hours laughter. Yeah. Especially in the performance me. uh Pay, um, yeah, that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll continue with more information about your upcoming shows. But mm -hmm. I'd, I'd like to shift the uh, question up to uh, uh, Sabina, Sabina and Emma. A story of rags to riches. Great. So, June, tell us more about yourself, how you got started in this real estate. You know, uh, like a while ago, while we were talking, I said, well, you were just like Trump. And you said, mm -hmm. but of course, Trump was born with a silver spoon. <laughs> and that makes a lot of difference. So yeah. he got, and got through hard work. So tell us more about it. Yes. Yeah, uh, close to your microphone. Yeah. <clears throat> I arrived here in America in 1989. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I realized that uh, having no formal education, is, you know, it, there's not a lot of opportunity. But in America, uh, there's not possible. It's not impossible to to have a better life, to become successful. So it didn't it didn't stop me from reaching my goal, from reaching my dreams when I came here. Although I, I had no formal education, wow. so I, I went to Alaska. Mm -hmm. I was making five dollars an hour, and I realized that Alaska is not for me. You know, mm -hmm. it's not like yeah, you can live there. A long time, so it's a small island. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I I save up some money, and uh, when I save some money, I uh, one night I saw 
uh, infomercial on TV uh, buying real estate. I said, I think this is the, mm -hmm. the business that I want to, to go in. Uh, then I started, I ordered a course and I started a course. I went to seminar and I applied what I learned. So when I quit working in Alaska, I moved to Seattle. So I started in duplex because I didn't like, I don't like to buy a house. So I started duplex, live in one unit and rent it out the other unit. So my uh -huh. tenants are yeah. paying my mortgage. I, yeah. I'm living for, you know, uh, free rent. Or, you know, yeah. so I have tenants to pay for my right. mortgage. Right. So uh, after that, I still have a lot, a little bit left over from what I say from Alaska. After uh, after a year, uh, my wife asked me. I told her buying a house. Mm -hmm. uh, we have three kids here, and uh, when we're gonna buy a house, so I said we're gonna buy a house next year. So mm -hmm. I bought a house, but I ended up making that house as a dwell a multi-family again because I rented the basement, <laughs> so I can get another income. <laughs> there you go. So so I got duplex and. One tenant in the basement. That's so, good. So she was yeah. disappointed uh, <laughs> because she has to wait again until we buy we buy a, a house. Own, yeah. I said we, we're gonna buy a house, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but we have to wait until we I reach my dream. We reach our goals. Mm -hmm. So we waited, but every other year this is what I do. Every other year I took out the equity and buy another property. Nice. Four mm -hmm. blocks, duplex. And then I said, and then I said, I have to think big because I will be self employed forever if okay. I'm going to keep small. Because you know, you, you can't get rich for ten, two units, four units. So, I when I reached uh 24 units, uh, and then my son is getting you know, bigger, old, yeah, <laughs> getting old, and you know, he's mature enough to, to take over the maintenance. I said, I want you to learn this. So I've been focused and looking for a bigger property. So at the time of recession, 2007, I've been watching the economy. And then one day I look at the economy, I said, this is not gonna last long. I have to pull out all my equity. Mm -hmm. So I pulled out the equity. And then after a week, the market collapsed. We had a recession after I pulled out the equity. And then no one, no batch will loan money. So I said, like you I, got told. Yeah, I have this money, but I cannot buy a bigger property because the banks they won't loan any yes. money because of the recession. They were they were scared. So I went to Texas and then went to Oregon, went to uh, everywhere, Arizona, and I didn't buy anything, but I have this money. So when I came back to Washington, I found a listing. And uh, when I called, he said, well, yeah, I used to sell her and I'm willing to do a contract. Uh, and when he says yes, so I reach out my, reach out my broker and said, I found this listing. I have to, we have to look at this property. So we look at the property, we made an offer, and, and the seller agrees to do seller financing with a 9% down, uh, uh, wow. subject for uh, collateralizing my three pre-employed yeah. properties, which is two duplexes and my home. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened when I bought that 161 units. Uh, we still have that recession. So I told my wife, yeah, we have this 100, almost 200 units now, but we still have to wait until we pay this guy off because he can easily take this property, property back, back yeah. if we could pay him off. Uh, so I save up some money until I, I, if I, I don't. yeah, mm -hmm. until I decided to go to the bank and the bank told me you need more equity in this property. You need to put $600,000 down. It's good that I save up my more. cash flow. Yeah. So I, I, I was prepared because I knew the bank will ask me that because I didn't have enough equity. Mm -hmm. So I put enough equity and then paid, they pay, I paid the guy, the mm -hmm. seller, and then from there, I still uh, waited another six years to buy another apartment. Mm -hmm. I was ready to buy a, a dream house, but like I said, it's let's dream. wait for another apartment before we buy a dream house. Mm -hmm. So in 2014, I purchased this 127 units in Longview, Washington. Mm -hmm. 
And then at the same year, I purchased our dream home in Tacoma, Washington. That's the, that's the one in Brown. It's a, one. That's the one it's in a Brown. single family. Yeah, it's a single family now because now we own more than almost 400 units yeah. in Washington. Yes. As you know, very expensive in Washington. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Especially buy. now. In, yeah, in fact, that property alone when I purchased, that was, I purchased in 2014 for five million dollars. Now, it's I sold it for eleven million dollars okay. after yeah. four years. Like, I like you know what, June. I like to hear those words. Those are good, you know, strategies. It's inspiring, inspiring. Words. You know, yes. You got the right timing. The you timing, got yes, exactly. the guts. Guts without the guts. guts. Exactly. Even though you have the timing, you won't get it. Okay, like, so oh, we will we will continue. Yeah. I like, I'm, I'm really excited really about this story on this two so gentlemen. <laughs> Talagang ano, very, you know, tapping up yeah. motivation as para sa akin. So let's now play the uh, uh, second song. The second song. Uh, Bulong ng Damdami by Marisa. Requested by Miles. Miles Salvador. Salvador. Hello, Miles. I hope this you're listening. And uh, maybe yeah. there in Australia, you could uh, also do what June has been doing. Or be a producer like Sunny. Yeah. Okay. I can follow up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That was nice. Yeah. Right there, you're available. I'll see you tomorrow. One of the things I'd like to uh, let all of those mga katoliko, lalo na 
yung sa mga Tagala Union area ang dating ng pilgrimage in Seattle. That is uh, actually August 31st. Yes. Yeah. Sa, itong yung Saturday Friday. na. Yes. No, Saturday. Actually, uh, they start on Friday. 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 Um, yes. They are going to have a uh, meet and greet. So August 31st, 4 p.m. So it's one big center, Shoreline, Washington. And everybody is invited. Yes, yes. Well, especially the Catholics. They are, they have this uh, the saint that they call the um, Blessed Virgin. Sa sa ano sa sa Ilocano ay papan para hindi lang mama Mary kung hindi what do you what do you call that? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very miraculous, uh, it's a blessed, miraculous virgin virgin. blessed Virgin. Okay, yeah. and this is hosted by the United Namakpakan Association of Washington, Unawa. Those are okay. coming from uh, La Union. Patuloy po tayo sa ating wapalatuntunan ako po, si Kuya Bert Kawili, at kasama po natin ngayon, of course, si Rolly Polintan, at si Sunny Picusman, and June Lalangan. I just want everybody to know that uh, by uh, in about uh, three, four minutes, we will go to a news break. So uh, actually two minutes. So what po kayong aalis, stay tuned for it on Phil Arm Radio. And we'll continue on with the of course, good yes. story yeah. of our We'll be up to uh, 2.30, so we yes. have a lot of time. But in the meantime, what po kayong aalis, uh, babalik po kami after that. Uh, we still have about one minute to talk about uh, your upcoming event. And I just want to say, nakikiramay po kami sa pagyama ni Ray uh, Ramos, Ramos, which uh, he was uh, laid to rest last Saturday. Yeah, the so, eldest brother of uh, S. S. Ramos. Ramos. So, yun po. At pero tayong natanggap ni ngayong message na, I'm not so sure if I remember the lady, pero ang mother ni Lorlina yes. uh, passed away also. Passed away. Alam mo sa edad natin ito, uh, marami na pong nam, namamayapa. So, our sympathy and condolences. Of course. So let's, let's make sure that we enjoy life. It is, you know, very short. Sabi nga ni Sunny T. June, let's do whatever we can do right now. Which is good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I know si June, he, with all his riches, na, nai-enjoy na niyo ngayon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine so, uh, a 75 foot yacht. <laughs> Ako sa akin ay yung, yung sa basa <laughs> ngayon sa akin. <laughs> Para mga kaibigan, huwag, huwag po kayong mawawala sa atin nga. And uh, we are going to our uh, news break right now. Stay, stay tuned po. Time for a Rainer Avenue Radio News Update. I'm Daniel Bellis. As the showbox at the market celebrates its 79th anniversary, oh, news has broken that the Omni Group of Vancouver, okay. BC has filed an permit at the city of Seattle to tear the music venue down in the interest of constructing a 44 story apartment building that would house 442 residential units with 700 rooms. Shortly after hearing the news, musician Jay Middleton launched a petition to declare the showbox in the store's land. Mark, has since gathered just short of 75,000 signatures in just five days later. I was expected to get more than 100 signatures. And then it started building momentum up, and I started getting anxious. I started getting worried. I'm like, oh man, this is cool. This is really cool. To achieve this goal, Middleton will need to submit an application to the Department of Neighborhoods, which will then be reviewed by the City Historic Preservation Officer. A 12 member volunteer board would then vote on the proposal at a public meeting. Make sure that the show box at the market meets at least one of the six criteria outlined in the Seattle Landmark Preservation Ordinance. At least four of the 12 people will approve the application, which then will send the proposal to the city council. It'll take about two months for Middleton and the thousands of the application to find out the fate of the venue. But good news for them is that the show box cannot be demolished while the case is still under Daniel Bellis, Rainer Avenue Radio News. Okay. Are you considering making lifestyle changes, eating a healthier diet, but you're not quite sure where to start? Well, I can help you. Just my opinion. A music program centers on R&B and hip hop, delivered by four organic free blends music mix, providing you a new type of 
Check out Fresh Juice on Rainier Avenue Radio every Wednesday night, 9 to 11 p.m. As we bring you the hottest new hip hop, dope guests, and interviews with artists on the rock. Plus, you know, you can kick it with me, D Money, and FB Coach. Every Wednesday night, 9 to 11 p.m. at Rainier Avenue Radio. This is Karen Z with Rainier Avenue Radio. And we want to hear from you. Our goal is to amplify and share the diverse voices of Southeast Seattle residents. Do you know of an engaged community member who should be featured in a community spotlight? Tell us about them. Do you know of an upcoming family-friendly, educational, or cultural event coming up? Tell us about it. If you have news to share, contact us by emailing rainieravenueradio.world at gmail.com. Once again, please email us at Rainier Avenue Radio.world at gmail.com Alright mga balik po tayo sa ating palatong tunang at radio program entitled Feel Am Radio and ang programa po natin ito is uh, internet based and uh, if you are lucky enough to have uh, check your Facebook under the Rainier Avenue Radio.world you would have been able to watch a live videotape of our program at uh, kasama po namin ngayon dito with uh, Rolly, si Sunny De Guzman, a very, uh, I would say, well-known producer in the Seattle area. And of course, uh, ang ating millionaryong si June Lalangan. So, from balik pa tayo. To reach, yes. Oh yeah, from Bryce to Reaches. Yes. Sana meron tayong kata yung lima ka ng kata ng Bryce to Reaches. Pero tatangin natin, let's go back to uh, Sunny. So Sunny, you started telling us yung mga, ano mo, uh, mga kasamahan mo, your, your uh, coalition of uh, producers. Like, I know Tucci very well. Yes. Okay? And I see Mark kasama dyan, dyan. Pati uh, yung ibang mga bagong kasama na, what do you call that? Jack and Poi? Jack and Poi. And yes. Papa, which is actually Association of Producers in Seattle. Oh, very good. Yes. We're yeah. starting to form a Tell us a little more about, uh, about those things. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the things na kailangan gawin sa Seattle about production is yung, yung nga, sabay-sabay ang mga uh, events and then um, ang nangyayari minsan uh, nakakatak lahat yung ibang mga uh, yung audience, tao, audience um, to go to certain events and the purpose of the, the organization is to make sure we give quality uh, show to that yeah. and then make it uh, avail um, Cheaper, uh, affordable, so, uh, affordable. Yeah. Because we want to continue on, uh, not just sa uh, ibang sa upper level of you know the society ng mga Filipino community, but also sa mga masa. Sa masa. Mas yeah. maganda yun. Mas maganda yun kasi you know you're bringing enjoyment, and that's why you call it entertainment. You know, production is really not a way to go rich. I was like, I for my own observation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kasi napapansin ko, especially before, mm-hmm. ang ating mga artists, artista, whatever, mga entertainers, they ask too much of talent fee. Correct. Sa matala, pagdating dito, mayroon pang mga, ano dyan, pihikan, they don't want to be here just riding in ordinary cars. Kala pa si Lucy, yung sabi ko, yes. hindi pwede yan. We have to, like you said, para sa masa, those yeah. affordable. Affordable, yeah. yes. And I'm glad that you're headed towards that. Yes, and if we have if we um, establish this organization nga yung Papa, we can actually drive the price down of the mm-hmm. talent fees. And ang selling point sa mga artists is give us that opportunity because we don't want you to come just here once. We want you twice, three times, mm-hmm. and more. Mm-hmm. And that would actually make us more available sa mga artists on other. Um, on other avenues. So, hindi lang shows, hindi lang, um, hindi lang, uh, yung mga kilig moments, but actual good productions, even theater. Um, not a lot of people know that Manila Sunset, um, their daughter is uh, yes. Jennifer Pass. Yes, yes. yes. Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon. Yeah. So, Tagalito yan. Tagalito yan. So, 
can we bring her in? Yeah. Right? You know, if we can continue on yung ganitong shows na pwedeng ibaba ang talent fee and pwedeng yes. um, yeah. mag-discover na yung local talent. And that's why, you know, we brought Alec. You know, Alec was from the Tri-Cities. Yes. Pasco. Uh -huh. Imagine that. Galing. Somebody Galing who's mabari. talented at that have not performed in a big stage like that, a 300 capacity auditorium, right? Mm -hmm. With Gabby Concepcion. Yeah. Uh, and then Jesse Moran. Jesse Moran mm -hmm. just got tough to actually join an, a contest back home. Hindi pa pwede sabihin ko ano, but it's in one of our networks. Um, uh, by September, he'll be there. So, he and was and one, one more thing, I hear that you are also going to produce a fashion show. Correct, yeah. So okay. that was my last pitch actually. Um, I've already produced uh, Tony Gallant twice here in Seattle, and but he's already done probably four or five shows here. Five shows, right? Yeah. So, way back, way back. Yeah. Way back, way yeah. back in the 80s and the 90s. So, mm -hmm. my own, um, what it is is in Tony Gallant Fashion Show, it, it, it actually features mga barong gowns made in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's what we are. That's why I brought Tony back here. Because we want something that's actually more affordable. Yeah. 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 So we look forward to we'll be able to watch that coming out. So I am wala pa dito at that time, but uh, it could have been good. Yeah. And no, not yet. And that's why, you wow. know, 25 years from the medical field, I'm, I'm staring a wall, 9 to 5, and now I really want to be out there. Um, and you can see that here is, uh, no, is I also now I'm going to the real estate business, just like uh, June. Oh my God. So, oh my God. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you can follow, you can follow his footsteps. footsteps. But, uh, yeah. man. <laughs> okay, thank you. But, but, uh, so, but okay. before I go, I want to plug you my, my latest one. It's actually in San Francisco. So, Gag Overload in San Francisco is actually my production, and along with uh, co producers in San Francisco. Gag so, Overload. Yeah, which is Andrew E. Um, no. What it does is actually it brings in producers not just here in the Washington area, but it. Uh, the Bay Area and also San Francisco. Kaya kung makukumbine natin mga producers from here and there, we can actually make shows cheaper. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Cheaper good, and affordable. Good, good, for plan, good plan. plan. Okay. So, balik naman tayo sa ating yeah, uh, you rights to, to reach. Yes. yes. <laughs> and then the fighting can, you know. It, that that we can that actually uh, support yeah. us. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure that we could uh, maybe, especially in, now that you are also going to real estate, marami ka pang... Uh, Sabi, biggest nakakanin. Exactly. But, uh, to follow, to follow, to follow, to follow our yeah. guest here. Would like to learn more. So, you know, you, you, you really uh, was very clear on how someone could really start in real estate. You know, I wish I, I did that, but uh, it's too late now for me, I guess. Meron ka naman eh. Meron, meron. Meron very, you know. Kumbaga sa yate niya, the 70 footer. Ang yate ko yung ganito sa bathtub. <laughs> Uh, Jun, tell us more about your really, you, you motivational uh, aspect na mo, because I told you during our yeah uh, I share all my strategies on Facebook uh, my my hardship my everything that I experience wow. I share everything mm -hmm. it, it, it's like a book that if you're gonna follow it's like uh, it's like a, a, a guide yeah a guide wow from like you said right to riches yes yeah. So, yun nga, sabi ko nga, nung ako ay inabot na ng almost 400 units dito sa Washington, and I realized that there's no more, everything's expensive here sa Washington. So, hindi na ako makakita na more than 100 units. So, ginawa ko, sabi ko, I wanna look all over the United States. So, nagpa-play ako kahit saan. Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, except California and New York because it's a uh, 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 No, it's it's on because of the the law, state law, because oh, it's a federal state. Oh, yeah. It's hard to evict. You have to wait six months. Yeah. Ah, yes, so yes, I, yes, I try yes. to avoid New York and uh, California. California. It's not because 
they, they don't they, they don't have a good deal. There's a lot of good deals out there, but, but you have to stay. For I six don't want to deal with the tenants. Who, who, you can stay six months and not paying rent. Yeah, you oh, know that's yeah, hard. Yeah, you know it's hard to think. Mm -hmm. The tenants who is responsible for the the rent. Uh, I could imagine that. Yeah. yeah. So I went to Texas and I found two hundred something units in Houston, uh, 2016. Uh, good investment. Yeah. And then uh, every other year, like I said, every other year, and two, just this year, mm -hmm. I purchased four hundred forty units in Arizona, January of this year, mm -hmm. and. And I'm purchasing another 500 something it's a, this year because I sold my property in Longview under 1031 exchange. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So within 20 years, I uh, will accumulate more than 1,000 units. So you were practically uh, buying almost the same amount for a capital gain, yeah? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. You yeah. exchange now uh, five years. Same amount or more. Mm -hmm. more. Yeah. So you save on capital gain. Yeah. Yeah. Or else, habulin ka. Yun ang problema. Yeah. Di ba, ang sabi nga nila, yung IRS, lagyan mo ng D. It's theirs. It's theirs. It's not yours. It's theirs. Okay. Yeah. Kaya, what else can you ask for? 400 units. Nakakalula. Sabi nga. So, anyway, ang tatangin ko lang, yung, ano mo, yung personal life mo ngayon, yeah. Because you have achieved all of these things, you know, how does yeah. that, how, how do you but, feel like being so rich? <laughs> ako, Actually, ako, I just started up buying toys just this year. You yeah, know, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I uh, in, within a month, this month, this month, mm -hmm. I purchased a Cadillac Escalade, wow. a new Cadillac. Mm -hmm. That's Whoa. That's more than 100,000. 100,000. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then a Lamborghini. Oh, gosh. I, so I, I so all at the same time. time. <laughs> 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 the reason. Why I purchase all at the same time? Because uh, next year, uh, it, it, I, I realize that since those are my goals that I want to achieve, yeah. and, it's, and I have a deadline, did my deadline is this year. So I don't have time to look for next year. So I, and, and I don't want to pass my deadline. So next year is going to be uh, time to enjoy. At least so I might as well buy now and enjoy it later. Oh, my wonderful! Two thousand and your children. How many children? Three. How many? I have three. And then how many boys and girls? One and uh, one boy, two girls. Mary? Uh, no, they're all single. Oh wow! Uh, they're enjoying their life. Two kids are working with my company. Yeah, I see. So, That's great. Yeah. Yeah, they're all set for life then. And they're all yeah, you're not getting home and own. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They, they but they're not already. spoiled brat because, like I said, uh, I truly believe in uh, self made. Uh, because if you work hard for what you get, mm -hmm. you're really going to take care of that. Good. Good. But if you're just, it's like, if someone's giving to you and you didn't work hard on yeah. it, okay. yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. they just give it to me. You at, know, they're not gonna work hard to keep that. At least they know the value of yeah. money. They have That's to the work most hard. important. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. That's really good. Because when I mean when I'm spoiled. Yes. But me na spoiled. But see one one thing everybody tells me, may may you mga na naarun maloto. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I'm million na. Oh. Yeah. 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 They didn't work on it yeah. for because they didn't go through the process. Yeah, there's a process of being becoming yes. rich. Yes. Yeah, making money. There's a process. If if you, you know, you know, there's a there. You have to go to school. Like in the school system, they, they will tell you your parents, your teachers. They will tell you study harder so you can find uh, get a good profession, making a lot of money. Right, but. The question you're not going to get rich by uh, using, uh, you know, having a profession and making a lot of money. The question is how you keep that money and use that money to make you rich. That's the question. They only know how to make money, but to grow that money, yeah. that's another that's profession, right? Yeah. You need another profession to grow that money. So, that's so what Jim, do you invest also in stocks? No, I don't like the stocks because. It's <laughs> the name. No, I'm just wondering. Yeah, the stock is like. Uh, it's a bubble. It's like a Ponzi scheme. Yeah. Oh. If you sell, if all the stock owners sell their stocks, there's not enough money on the pot. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. We can have a recession, 
it's like a 401k. Well, it's a, it's a, you have to pay tax too when you sell it, and yeah. there's a penalty if it's 401k. So that's not my game. I want control. If and, I control and it, it, it looks to me that you are a very well versed at 1031 exchange. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the best strategy. Yeah. In real estate, to get rich in real estate, you need to learn two things uh, debt and taxes. Mm. That's for you, sure. Because. <laughs> You know, as you hear when we were younger, they said, the rich taking a lesson here. Yeah, you can do mga mayayama, di ba? Yung mga sinasabi ng maraming utang. That's true. That's true. Kasi kung sila yung mayayama sa utang. Totoo yun. Totoo yun. Kasi kung walang hindi sila makapunta sa bangos, kasi sila kung walang utang. Like you said, problema sa akin ng mga mayayama ng kapitan. Exactly. Pero kung i-establish mo ang credibility mo sa bangko, na umutang ka, and then makabayaran mo on time, and then makakita ka ng deal, then you go to the bank, you show them the financial statement of the property, you take care of it, then you will you will get rich. Okay. Then so, they are make guts. Guts, of course. Yeah. 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 Ye
yung, yung knowledge, okay? Importante, you have a team. Mm-hmm. Yung mga professionals, attorney, real estate mm-hmm. broker, bankers, those are professionals. Yes. I use their, their knowledge yeah. to help me. Mm-hmm. My job is uh, to implement my idea. Kasi may mga laws din yan na dapat mong alamin. Ngayon, kung wala kang real estate attorney, you have to hire a real estate attorney. Mm-hmm. Right. You have to hire an accountant. Mm-hmm. Kasi sa tax laws, you have to hire a real estate broker, mm-hmm. commercial in particular, para ma- yung mga informations na mag-gather mo, and then or your, my job is to analyze what they said and to make sure that they're telling me, you know, the, the, the right information. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi mo naman malalaman lahat. Eh. Mm-hmm. Di ba? In, in, uh, hindi mo pwedeng lahat alam mo. Kailangan mo ng team. You need to have a team. Yeah, so, have good advisors. Advisors. Talking, yeah. about, yeah. talking about team, uh, uh, June, since you have these vast uh, uh, properties, so you're managing it yourself. Yes. Uh, yeah, so you have manage. And yeah. they, um, property management mo. Say you na. Yes. Good. Ang um, may yeah. ipliato ko ako lang. Ako Ikaw na naga. Yeah. Oh, that's Mag- very good. Magalak ko dalawa na ko ibot sa. Oh, at least may katulong ka na. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, Kaya so, ang nakakapamasyal na siya. With all the yeah. past property, whoever mm-hmm. ang hirap pamasyal pagka hindi mm-hmm. wala property management. Ang <laughs> totoo <laughs> yun. But, but to sabi nga, sabi nga. People who will advise you. Of course, number one yan. Yeah. Ang problema, katulad ko, gusto ko nga gumawa ng mga lawyer at ano, wala mo akong maya. <laughs> Kaya, si Emma na lang ang tinatang ko. Sabi ko kay Emma, ay ba si Emma lawyer na pwede pro bono? <laughs> Mahirap maghanap na pro bono rin sa Amerika. Hindi ko ako matapot. Yeah. Anyway, we have at least uh, about what, nine minutes left? Eight minutes. Eight uh, minutes? Nine? So mga kaibigan, paalala lang, ito po ang Phil Ambradio and you're listening live dito po in, uh, sa internet and if you're watching uh, Facebook sa Rainier Avenue Radio that world, mapapanood nyo kami aming mga pinag-uusapan and you will see mga guwapito nating mga guests si Sanely Guzman, <laughs> yun po at ang ating uh, si Pogi si Pogi <laughs> Yeah, so, pero kailangan para maging, may, maging mayaman, kailangan pogi yun. <laughs> Mahirap yeah. maging pogi. <laughs> Automatic yun. Automatic, Automatic yeah. yun. Yeah, that's good. Kasi pag nandun ka na sa estado niyo, whoever, pogi ka na. Oo, pogi ka na. Automatic yun. So, yun yung mga tatanong ko sana sa iyo. Napakahirap naman yung pogi ka na. Mayaman, mayaman, mayaman. Hindi mahirap yun. Kaya ba, pag mayaman ka, pogi ka o tumahin. Ano ang pinag-uusap ko na sa iyo? Alam mo naman. Pogi, eh, eto, eh, mandalawang guwaping nandito, eh. Hindi, mas guwaping kayo sa akin. Ako, sabi ko sa iyo kanina, you're old enough to be, ah, to be my son. I, I have been married for 51 years. Wow. 51 years now. So how many years have you been married? 33 years. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, my oldest is 27 years old. Yes. Oh, yes. At least like silvers, yeah. <laughs> 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 you you have pictures of me. You don't have to give me <laughs> Side joke, guys. Uh, yeah, five minutes. At sa totoo lang, si Sanya at si Rolly, matagal na makakilala, pero ako hindi pa masyado yeah. bago lang. In fact, this is the first time I've really had a good talk. Conversation, Puro yes. Puro ganyan yung kawaii yes, yeah. yeah, and we are very fortunate, mga kaibigan, na nandito ngayon. Ang, uh, hindi ko sasabihin na isa sa pinakamayaman, baka siya lang ang pinakamayaman dito sa Pilipino. Yes. Who, who really worked so hard mm-hmm. para ma-achieve niya kaya dreams. Just imagine, uh, Lamborghini ba yung family? Lamborghini, yes. yeah. a 75-footer so yan. So tell me more about your toys. <laughs> your toys <laughs> well, uh, I was disappointed because I had a guest last week and, and uh, we didn't uh, have time to go to the army because of the weather. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, 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 that's true. Yeah, yeah. 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 we came from Canada and San Diego, but they didn't get to... So they didn't stay, they had to go back? They they just toured the yacht. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Well, we, didn't, we didn't have time to go to to go out, yeah. to go out because of the weather. But no, they come up and drive down. <laughs> Actually, I hired a captain, and the yeah. captain didn't go, didn't show up because he knows that. They yeah, they got some busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but this week, uh, next week. Alam mo ako diyan kung kayo na kikinig, bakak malunong kayo mo pwede kayo maging kapitan na kahanas si Jun. Ano, kapitan para sa kanyang yate. Baka pag crash course ka dito pa. Madali naman ako matulog. Basta sa Viernes, sana makatapak tayo sa yate na 75 footer. Kasi ang dream ko lang, 24 footer. Ngayon pala, 75. Pag-uwi pa sabi ko nga siya ako sa biyasaan o sa bangkaw na rin. But anyway, yung mga anak niyo po. Mga anak namin, yun isa. Uh, nagtatrabaho sa ibang company. Yung dalawa nagtatrabaho sa akin. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yung bunso. Yung bunso at yung sumunod sa akin nagtatrabaho. Sa yung yung, yung, yung pangalan yung dalawa? Yung pangalan yung babae. Ah, babae. Yeah. Okay. okay. Kaya siguro hindi niya mahanggal makipag-deal sa akin. <laughs> Pangalay kasi. <laughs> Pangalay kasi. Kasi <laughs> it's very much like this is Scattered Dreams of our own. Dito ba? Yeah. Dito na lumang kay Jun? Hindi. Dito na lumang. Sa Pilipinas lahat sila pinangangat. Oh, oh, I see. Nag-migrate sila rito, 1996. That's the, that's, that's the year I started in real estate. Oh. Kaya na, na, na observe nila lahat na, na kung paano. Um, kami ni Emma, hindi na yung mama. Dahil puro community service lang. Uh, yeah, actually, I have uh, June and Susan Alana <laughs> Foundation. Oh, it's been 10 years now wow. in the Philippines, not here now. We've been helping uh, kids, uh, you know, in digest, yung mga, uh, anywhere in the Philippines, actually. Pero saan ang face? Sa Philippines. Doon ang dokumenta na tayo. Okay, I'm going to talk about it. 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 But for today's broadcast, it seems like it's more important that we are able to listen to the advices and experiences of our two guests. So, I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Anyway, mga kaibigan, sabi nga, at bilis ng takurang orasan. Kaya kami po ay magpapaalam na. As usual, ako po si Kuya Bertha Willi. At ako naman po si Rolly Polintan. Magandang hapon sa inyo. At ating mga guests. Sani de Guzman po. Don't forget, Tony Gallo Fashion Show Holiday Collection. Beneficiary is Bahay Aruga sa Pilipinas po. It is directly going to go there ang donations po. June Rivera Lalangan at kung gusto niyo ng motivational na makabasa ng motivations i-follow niyo lang ako sa Facebook yun ang nandun lahat ang strategies ko Thank you very much Sabayin niyo po kami sa aming closing dalangin while we play the song kong Diman as a background Ama namin purihin na niyong pangalan Nagpupuri po kami at nagpapasalamat sa mga dakilang biyaya, buhay, lakas at subaybay na ipinagkalawag niyo sa amin mula sa oras na ito hanggang sa wakas ng aming buhay. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. I wanted to say something about June being a high school dropout. If you read the story of Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, he was a high school dropout. And look, yeah, so it really, it really, the education, the academic part is great, only if you can apply it. Yes. But sometimes, self-made, self-made people are up to me. It's pretty smart, right? And you learn a lot of hard work. It's challenging three-term incumbent Maria Kim for a U.S. Senate seat in Washington State primary in August 7th. And the petition includes very important. He deserves better than an ineffective senator seeking an undeserved term. Thank you, James.